YouTube, what is good? Today is January 17th, Monday. We're here in Mikasa, and as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're doing my collection video today. A lot of you guys requested this video for a while. You know, we want to put out different content, so here it is. A lot of you guys also requested a G's collection video, so hopefully that's going to come soon, along with the guys at the shops collections, so that's also going to be coming soon. But I decided to go first just because, like, everything's pretty much set up in my room ready, from kicks to vintage to Funko Pops to hats. You know, I collect a lot of stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Comment what your favorite piece is or what your favorite sneaker is down below from my collection don't forget to like comment share and subscribe without further ado let's go so for anyone that knows me they know how much chicago bulls and michael jordan memorabilia i collect i collect hats t-shirts um blankets toys whatever from that era just because it brings me back to like my childhood as a kid my dad and i would rewatch games together he would put on reruns of games where jordan would just do the craziest things and i'd just be so amazed and think that yo like that's really unhuman like and he was pretty much a god till this day i still think he's like one of the best players of all time with that being said the first thing we got here is a jordan champion jersey i believe the this from the store can't wear this right now well i mean i could probably wear it right now uh, with a hoodie underneath but i'll probably pop that out in the summertime and then right next to it is a rodman jersey dennis rodman's also one of my favorite players of all time just because of the way he like he carried himself in the league and how free he was with like his style and stuff like that so i low-key need a champion pippin jersey to put next to it we also have some kobe's i believe these are called the mamba mercurials if i'm not mistaken on top we got i think those are the year of the rabbits or the the year the horse uh kobe's i do wear these sneakers guys so they're not just out here for display i do pop these out here and there if i want to ball um right here we got a couple hats regular chicago bulls hat this is a 98 chicago bulls hat another jordan jumpman hat another bulls hat and then we also got another michael jordan mini poster that i got out of a magazine then we move here we got another jordan jersey along with some hats i think that one's a 93 black chicago bulls hat that white and red bulls hat one of my favorites forgot what design that's called but that's pretty old another bulls hat right behind it is an iverson a baby iverson jersey that i thrifted and another bulls hat and then like i said earlier i collect a lot of funko pops the most funko pops i have are probably like michael jordan or nba funko pops as you guys can see here majority of it is uh michael jordan we also got Shaq and magic johnson but for the most part it's also it's all pretty much michael jordan i also found these at the thrift a while back last shot 14 so i decided to pick these up just to display and i think the other one's holding that hat right there right here we also got another michael jordan card that i found at the flea market um, i also collect a couple of just random cards too julius irving michael jordan you know just a bunch of other random memorabilia right there and then moving back here we got a couple sneakers as well this is one of my favorite new balance models right now purple 550s yellow 550s i found these online on ebay and i thought they were really dope um they kind of look like the lv trainers that they have nowadays they're like arkansas razorback shoes from like the early 90s i think um they're still holding up i still wear them that's another thing guys every shoe that i'm about to show you guys i have worn you know nothing in here is ds or brand new i wear every single sneaker that i own next up we got these random converses that i found on depop i thought they were really dope they are separating now which is kind of sad if any guys out there know what these are called please let me know just because i want to find another pair but yeah these are these are super fire as we go lower on this rack we have the ald new balances the 327s i believe super comfortable sneaker one of my goals is to collect the entire pack so hopefully one day i'll get the white and the red pair next up are some reeboks that uh i low-key wear at the club <laughs> These are super comfortable. I believe I grabbed these at the shop before I started working there like a while ago just because I thought they were really fire and they're like my first Iversons. So I also cut like the strap tongue on top of the shoe just because I didn't like it and I wanted the laces to show out. So and then on the very bottom, I already know all the new bounce sets are going to flame me just because I have these chilling here. I have not one, not two, not three, but four gray new balances. I'm not going to lie. I don't really wear these that often. Jordan always gets at me just because like he knows I have all these just chilling in the cut and i don't wear any of them so jordan if you're watching this i will start wearing these soon trust me so the first thing we got i think these are the v4s 990 v4s i think these are v5s these are just regular 992s and i think these are 998s 993s 993s these are 993s i try to wear all my kicks but sometimes shoes like this just end up chilling since i made this video i'll probably start wearing these 
again soon. So as we start to move on to the right side of the TV, we have uh, a bunch of other Chicago Bulls hats that I have displayed. You know, we got a 96 one, 97, a regular red one. I believe that one is a youth hat. This one's like another 96 and another 97. And then on this side of my TV, we got my grail shelf, you know, is what I like to call it. Probably talk about those sneakers last just because some of these are like heavy hitters. So we got more Chicago Bulls hats hanging off the side along with the Sean Witherspoon hat, which is really dope. On the top, we got a Space Jam VHS tape and right behind it is a Space Jam toy set shout out to Lido and then we got a Shenron Funko Pop for all my Dragon Ball Z fans out there and right next to it is a Batman Funko Pop and then on top of it is some vintage Nike hiking shoes I actually thrifted those as well with the thought of wearing them but as soon as I put them on they started crumbling so now I just have them as a display up there uh, if anyone can ID those let me know what those are called but yeah I thought those are really dope just to have as a display and then as we make our way back to the bottom we have Perkyol from Dragon Ball Z one of the first Pokemon games that I had as a kid Pokemon VHS tape with two of the Game Boys I had as a kid I think one of these I just dropped in water one day and, and it stopped working and then I bought a second one but the charger output doesn't work so now I just have him chilling there but yeah that's pretty much what's on this side of the TV and then on this side of my room we have a rack full of hats clothes uh, outerwear and side bags that I just collected over the past couple years I like me a good vintage hat or just a cool hat in general it adds more flavor to the fit i'll go over some pieces in a sec but yeah this is pretty much where i try to keep most of the clothes that i collect so the first piece i want to talk about is this duke all over shirt that i actually got at top shelf before i started working there as you guys can see the back is just insane i grabbed this piece about two years ago now um i just saw it on the rack and i was like bro i don't care how much it is i have to have it funny enough owning this piece now it comes full circle because jordan owned this piece at one point and then he sold it to the shop so shout out to jordan he low-key wants it back but i don't think i could let go of it just yet and then the next piece i want to talk about is the hat that i'm wearing this also came to the shop a while ago but it was while i was working at top shelf as you guys can see it's like all over and it says on fire on the back this is a 1994 super bowl snapback that i own fire snapback i grabbed this one recently at the last sneaker event we were at um it's an indiana guy dunking on the brim hat which is really dope as you guys can see red skins flame hat nascar hat camo trucker hat bud hat you know i just own a bunch of hats guys it's it's, it's really bad oh this is one of my favorites this is vikings hat one of my favorite hats it's a shark tooth hat 1994 finals shout out to jersey and devil's hat usa hat and right here is the second set of hats that i own not one but two mighty duck hats uh these came to the shop recently really cool hats another super bowl snapback this is really cool sit go gasoline hat really cool i also recently started collecting corduroy hats i think corduroy hats are one of my favorite type of hats first off we got this phillies one chiefs oilers giants this is my favorite one shout out to four bear goods new jersey nets if it'll just focus right there this Bengals and this killington ski black snap and now going back to clothing we have this charlotte hornets on the salem t-shirt uh, single stitch single dingle no back hit but really cool tee this one is an atlanta braves all over tee uh this is also on a salem really cool shout out to the braves all over arkansas razorbacks tee i grabbed this one just to go with the kicks and then and i think i also have a have a hat to go with this as well i'm not gonna say what movie this is if you watch the movie you know if you don't you don't know but this t-shirt's really cool it's really sick I think it's a reprint, but it's reprinted on a vintage tee, which I found to be really sick. So this is a really cool find. This one I just got from my boy AJ. It says Newark Paint. And it has some like paint splatter on the on the t-shirt to add some character. And then we got this MJ tee. I don't think it's that vintage, but I think it's like early 2000s. RP to the King of Pop. I grabbed this one recently uh, from my Lakers fans out there. 2002 3P t-shirt. Shout out to the King of Pop again. This is one of my favorite t-shirts. Uh, you guys have seen me rock this on one of the videos. Beautiful fade to it. Damn, I got a lot of folding to do. Two of my favorite liquid blue t-shirts ever. These are the newest ones. These are not the vintage ones that everyone has. But the first one is this Lithuania basketball one. I had to grab this. I didn't care what year it was, but I just had to grab it because if I bought the vintage one, it'd be like 200 or 300 bucks, and I'm not paying that for a t-shirt right now. So I had to grab this one off the Liquid Blue website. And then this 
Cyber one. I forget what it was called, but I had to grab this one too. I think the vintage one of this t-shirt goes for around like 500 to 1,000, so. And then to put things into perspective, guys, I own this much Chicago Bulls t-shirts. I guess I'll show you like one or two. I actually grabbed this one at the shop before I started working there. Same thing with this Duke shirt. I told AG, you know, I don't care how much it is, let me know and I'll pay. Next up are these two shirts from a brand um, overseas. They make really good reprints. They're both MJ face tees. I have one in white and I have one in black. You know, MJ here with Michael Jordan on the back, basically. Then a white one as well. And then we also have this Rodman t-shirt that they made. This one's really dope. And then I also collect some hockey jerseys, Rangers, Devils, Florida Panthers. This one I got at the shop recently. And this one was a Depop snipe. Jordan actually sent me this because I was looking for a really cool hockey jersey. And he found this one on Depop, so shout out to you, Jordan. This one is just insane. Right here is a New York Mets varsity jacket that I thrifted recently. It has a big Mets patch right there. And then little patch on the sleeve. And then to end things off with the clothing, not one, but two Chicago Bulls outerwear pieces. This one is, uh, I think this is a Apex Chicago Bulls right there with the back hit. This other Chicago Bulls jacket with the Bulls on the back. I think this is on a competitor jacket, so. With that being said, now we're gonna go into the best part of the video, the part that everyone's been waiting for, the sneakers, so. Let's go. All right, so to start off, we're gonna start with this rack right here. As you guys can see, I have a cubicle type of arrangement right here. I grabbed this off Amazon for like 50 bucks and I think it came out to like 50 something. So if it's still available on Amazon, I'll leave the link down in the description. But anyways, to get things started, we have this Syracuse Dunk from 2000. I don't like the new Dunks nowadays just cause the quality is our trash. There's some separation going on, but with the stitching that they used back then, it's still holding up together and I still wear these. As you guys can see, the soles are just ran down. Down. You know, orange is one of my favorite colors. When I grabbed these, I was pretty hyped. Next sneaker we have, speaking about orange, are these orange 550s. I picked these up recently. As you guys saw in one of the videos, I unboxed these. Really cool sneaker, really cool silhouette. As I said earlier, I have a bunch of these. These are one of my favorite sneakers just to wear every day, just to be around. The next sneaker we have here is the gray 550 ALDs. I was on the hunt for these when we were at SneakerCon and Jordan sniped these out at a table. I was definitely excited when I got these in hand and the whole experience at Boston. So definitely enjoy wearing this sneaker. And like I said, it goes with everything. The next sneakers I want to talk about are these Air Max 1s. You know, the OG red and the OG blue colorways. When I saw this sneaker initially, I passed on it so many times. And I found it for a really good deal online. Super comfortable model. I couldn't get the red one without getting the blue one. And the blue one nowadays, if y'all know, goes for some cheese. I kind of like the blue ones more than the red one. Just because the blue ones, no one really wears that often. And no one really has. They look go with the fit right now. I'm not going to lie. Next pair of sneakers we have here is the App most uh animal pack someone on instagram had them for like a really good price and i couldn't uh pass it down so definitely happy i own these now i love how different the, the prints are like how it goes all around the sneaker it definitely gives me a challenge when uh, i put outfits together but definitely happy i own these sneakers now just because i was on the hunt for them for a while the next sneaker we have is the silver bullet air max 97 one of my favorite air maxes of all time as you guys can see here silver all around 3m i believe these are restocking this year or something like that i might have to grab a second pair i actually owned this silhouette at least like three or four times i bought it sold it bought sold it and then ended up having them again so the next sneaker we have here is the air max 90 infrared um, this is one of ag's favorite sneakers of all time this is the 2010 pair as you guys can see right there it is beat the paint's like barely there anymore this one specifically is my favorite year just because of like the, the material and the quality of this one specifically this is probably one of the most comfortable sneakers of all time i could run down three pairs of these if i want wanted to next sneaker we have here is a nike stussy spirit on this is probably one of my favorite everyday sneakers to wear just because it goes with everything and anything they're also super comfortable if they were cheaper i would definitely grab a second pair just to like destroy but i'm trying to like keep these ones as clean as possible the next sneaker we have here is the air max 180 cdg in the pink and white colorway i owned the pink on pink colorway at one point but i wasn't really feeling it i'm still on the hunt for the pink and black ones so if anyone out there has a pink and black cdg 
180 for a decent price. Hit me up. The next figure we have right here is a Nike Air Trainer 3 in the Viotech colorway. I just really love how like that purple, you know, goes with the yellow. It's just really dope. It's super clean. I remember initially when they came out, I wasn't feeling them. Someone wore them in store once. And I was like, bro, them shits is fire. So I definitely had to grab me a pair. So the next figure we have right here is some Nike shocks that have been dyed purple. Initially, when I owned these, they were brown. They kind of look disgusting. So decided to dye them purple and they came out really, really cool. You know, people always ask me like, oh, yo, what collab is that? And I'm like, bro, like these are just some Nike shocks that I decided to dye purple. But I low-key want to buy another pair of these just to like do the same thing. You know, I think orange or green would, would go crazy. Speaking about dyeing sneakers, here we have some Air Force ones that I dyed in the emerald green colorway. And I also took out the stitch swoosh and made it Velcro. The swooshes from these are from Travis Air Force ones. I sold those a while ago, but decided to keep these the swooshes. I also threw in some Murakami laces right there, as you guys can see. The next thing here we have right here is a classic, the Nike Uptempo in the black colorway. Really cool silhouette, really cool sneaker. I just love how like the air is just like so bold. I believe they did the same thing on like the Air Forces, the cactus plant ones. Definitely have to top these back out again soon. As you guys can see, they're kind of collecting dust. The last sneaker on this rack, or boot I should say, are these Nike vintage boots from like the 90s. I saw Lil Yachty had like three of these in in his closet. I was looking looking for those too and I found a good deal on Depop. This colorway is just crazy with the purple um swoosh, the forest green hits and then like brownish all over. Definitely the proper time to wear these. So next up are these Ermont Potato Foam Runners. I guess you could say they're they're bootleg or whatever you want to call it. But me personally, I just like these just cuz like there's a, there's way more stuff going on. I think Ermont Potato is like a designer or creator on Instagram and I saw these on his page once. Couldn't grab them at the time, but was like, let me see if there's some pairs out there used. The next sneakers we got going on are in my opinion, the best sneakers that Soleil Benbury's ever created are the Water Be The Guides and the Peace Be The Journeys. My favorite one probably has to be the Peace Be The Journeys just cause they're orange. I love what Soleil did with the boxes to the laces to just the overall quality of the sneaker. A couple of videos ago, I said that my favorite New Balance models right now are the 2002 Rs and the 550s just cause how they're super comfortable in the way they're made but yeah the Soleil Benberries are probably one of my favorite sneakers in my collection as well just because of how loud they are looking at this sneaker right now there's like so much going on yeah they're just crazy man the next sneaker we have going on is the Starfish Low or the Shattered Backboard Low 2.0 really love the Shattered Backboard uh, 2.0 and as you guys can see right here I do own a pair of those we always talk about quality in the shop and we always talk about how Nike and Jordan are just massively massively producing sneakers nowadays however on these ones the quality is not that bad the leather slowly beating in nicely can't complain about these definitely have to put the white laces in them just to make them pop a little bit more on top right here we have the green ald 550s these are the ones that i got before the restock so i paid a hefty amount for it out of the pack i think my favorite one is definitely the green one these are like the first 550s i ever owned and from then i was put on like the gray ones i enjoy wearing these a lot they do go with everything so if you guys are looking for something that goes with everything this is definitely a good shoe and they're also super comfortable so next shoe we got right here are the bread ones aka the band ones it's actually funny that this video came around the same time i was changing the laces out of these let me know if you guys are messing with it or not but th those are the laces that i put on the breads i actually grabbed these before the documentary came out so i didn't pay like an astronomical number definitely a shoe that i definitely wanted to have as a kid when i opened the box i was just like damn like i really own a pair of bread ones now but yeah these are probably one of my top five favorite sneakers of my collection just because of how nostalgic they are and MJ wore these. You can't have the red one without having the royal one. And I put the purple laces in these. This was another shoe I saw as a kid. And I was like, damn, I need to have those as well. Out of all the Jordan ones I own, this is the least one that I wear. Since I put these new laces in, I might have to pop them out here and there, you know? Definitely one of my favorites as well. Next, we have the Shadow Jordan one. These are the 2013 release. AG personally likes the 2013 pairs. I low-key like some of them, but not all of them. Decided to throw the cream laces on them just to make them pop a little bit more. As you guys can see, they are sliding to yellow a little bit which is like beautiful another thing as a kid i wanted to have was to make sure i had the trio the royal ones the red ones and the shadows and now that i own them I feel complete next shoe we have right here is a shattered backboard 2.0 i personally like this one more compared to the first shattered backboard um, as you guys can see these are like super chopped 
barely any stars left. I absolutely love wearing this sneaker. And like I said earlier, orange is one of my favorite colors. Next shoe we have right here is the Air Jordan 1 UNC. These are probably under my top five Air Jordans of all time, just because of the UNC color. I threw on the UNC vintage laces on these. But yeah, this is another Jordan 1 that I enjoy wearing a lot, just because it's bright, it's blue. I mean, just look at the bottom of these guys. I'm telling you, I wear my sneakers. So next sneaker we have here is the Air Jordan 1 Storm Blue. These are also super, super cooked. One of the local New Jersey thrifters out here actually found a pair of these in the thrift. He got them for like a really ridiculously low price. As you guys can see here, they're like super chopped. This is legit how like people like their sneakers nowadays, like cooked, beaten, used. As you guys can see, the bottoms are cooked. And then the last Jordan 1 in my collection are the Jordan 1 Black and Whites or the Jordan 1 Pandas. These came out, I believe in 2014, 2013, around that time. This is another colorway that I needed to have in the collection. I think these also came through the store used. These and the UNCs are definitely one of the ones that I wanted to get as I was growing up. This colorway specifically is like a if you know, you know type shit. And I think out of the ones that I own right now, this is definitely up there as well. Okay, so now that we're done with the ones, we get into my, my second favorite Jordan model, which is the Jordan 2. And SARS, we got the OG Chicago colorway. I always loved twos growing up just because like no one had them, no one liked them. They're just different. They're not like your regular Jordan threes or fours. Like seeing Michael Jordan wear them had me more inclined to buy them. And you can't own the lows without owning the highs. I think between the both of them, I kind of like the highs more just because like they give it more of an OG feel, even though these like are still OG. Just owning these is like really dope to have. Next shoe we have is a Jordan 2 Varsity Red. I think out of all the twos that's ever come out, this probably has to be my favorite one just because it's just red and white. I grabbed these a while ago from the shop as well. These were just sitting on the top shelf eBay and I came in one day and I was like, yo, like you guys still have these? And he was like, yeah, no one wanted them. <laughs> as you guys can see, like they're super, super beat. I wear these like once every week just because like they're my favorite ones the first three we have is the jordan 3 white cement from 2011 as you guys can see age is catching up to these sneakers you know the paint's going there's some separation going on the tab is yellowing um but i remember back in middle school i saw a kid wearing these and i was like bro where can i get those i'm pretty much gonna wear these until everything's gone until like the soul's completely off and stuff so next we have the jordan 3 black cement these are just completely cooked as well as you guys can see the bottoms are just gone like it's bad grab these on ebay for a really good price definitely need a new pair of these these ones are just not safe to wear i mean i probably could still wear them but they're just not safe to wear with snow and ice outside so now going to the fours here we have the white cement four another classic that i had to have as a growing up with a nike air on the back of course as you guys can see the yellowing on these is just beautiful you know the netting on both shoes is turning into that nice patina yellow definitely needed these growing up too you know i I prefer these ones over the 2011 pair just because the cement is like more fluent and then like the Nike Air in the back is just cherry on top. Now this sneaker right here, probably one of my top Jordans of all time, the Bread 4 with the Nike Air on the back of course. One day I'd like to own multiple pairs of these and just run through all of them. This is like definitely one of my favorite pairs of Jordans to ever release and I definitely have to throw on the sail laces on these. Next shoe we have right here is the Air Jordan 5 Black Metallic, another classic with the Nike Air on the back of course. This is also one of my favorite sneakers of all time. Michael Jordan played some crazy games in these. And this is another shoe I would rock multiple times. Next, we have one of my favorite sixes of all time, the Varsity Red 6. And as you guys can see, the bottoms are just yellowed to perfection. You know, they got that really, really aged cut look. To them. I really don't like that that infrared color. That pinkish infrared color is just not it. I personally like the varsity red on it just because it gives it that OG feel. And MJ did play in these as well. So you can't have the black varsity red without owning the white varsity red. This is another classic silhouette that I need to have growing up. Like I said, I don't like that infrared pinkish colorway. I needed to have this one specifically. And surprisingly, a lot of people don't like this one. I don't know why. This is another Jordan 6 that released that's definitely up there. Gotta wear these again soon. Next, we have the Olympic 7 from just watching the the last dance and seeing Jordan wearing these in the games and the photo shoot was really sick. This is one of my favorite Jordan 7s to ever release as well. The Olympic colors going all around, the 9 on the back. I think that's another reason why I like this shoe a lot is just because it's the number 9 instead of the 23. Another sneaker that I need, I need to start wearing more often is a Jordan 8 Aqua. I just love like the purple and blue hits. 
you know the tongue all that og nostalgia right there and this isn't the most recent one i believe this is the 2007 pair and surprisingly they're still holding up i prefer these over the most current ones just because like this part of the shoe is black and then on the newer ones i, I believe it's gray next up we got the space jam 9 definitely another classic uh, nostalgic sneaker this one is the 2016 release this is one shoe that i forget i have sometimes just because it's at the bottom of the shelf jordan 9s are like another one of my favorite models Not a lot of people like lean towards the jordan 9 this one in particular definitely needs to have in the collection just because of the nostalgia and the overall like colorway is just really dope so next shoe we have are the flint nines this one was actually gifted to me the dude who found these actually found these at a thrift store and he was like yo what size are you and i was like like an eight and a half and he goes yo i found some flint nines they're really cooked but i think you can still wear them they are super cooked but i still do wear them you know the yellowing is beautiful nice gray to it with the blue hits other than the space jam nine this is like my second favorite nine so the last shoe of this rack is the jordan 14 cherry i prefer the these over the last shots in my opinion the last shots are really cool classic sneaker but me personally i just like these just because of like the white and red i low-key might have to get the newer one just because i don't know how long how much longer these are gonna last i think 14s might have to be another one of my favorite models there are some 14s out there that jordan brand has to re-release like the, the the green and white ones and the brown ones so now that we're done with both of these racks we go over some of the shoes that you guys saw on the grail shelf i'm um, starting with the sean witherspoon air max 197 this is a sneaker that that I had to have. For those of you guys that know me, I'm a big corduroy guy and I love colors, so this shoe just screams me. I think I traded these for like a bunch of shit back in the day. These sneakers are actually somewhat in still of good condition. Um, the dots on the bottom are all gone, but the uppers and the soles might just need a little wipe down. And you know, I couldn't have the shoes without having the hat. This hat actually came into the shop, cleaned up, restored a little bit. Super happy I own this sneaker now because I think brand new in my size is like 18 to two. I don't think these are gonna go anywhere anytime soon. So next shoe I'm gonna go over is the Union 4. Couldn't have the guava without having the noir colorway. I got this one because I hit on a PS5 and I traded it towards the use pair that we had in the shop. And then this guava, I think I traded in some shit too. I think my favorite out of the two of them is definitely the guava just because it stands out more. I know Jordan's favorite one is this one and he wants to get a second pair. This is definitely one of my favorite collabs that I released in the past year. The quality and the overall like make of this sneaker is just insane. The first ones that came out are definitely the best ones uh, as far as color and quality goes. The pink pinkish the bluish the yellowed sole the red nike air on the back like sheesh man like this is a really good sneaker the black one is also really dope i love how like it's all black around and then i added the gold yellow laces on them to give it more of a pop i also enjoy wearing these with the tongue out really happy to own both of these pairs and like i said earlier can't have one without having the other next shoe we have is the off-white pine green dunk this came out with the michigan and the unlv colorways out of the three of them this is probably my favorite one right now with the whole loss of virgil people want to ask astronomical numbers for these used regardless of that what he did and what he made with sneakers in the culture was really dope so rp virgil the quality on these is shit on the lot 50s in my opinion just because these were just made really well i took out the green laces and changed the laces to creams to give it more of that pop really enjoy wearing this sneaker a lot the quality on these like i said is just way better the leather is just super buttery they don't crease as bad as like the newer dunks maybe one day i'll own all three of them who knows the next here we have here is the jordan 2 mellow when these these came out initially i definitely wasn't a big fan of them and then i saw them in person at the shop and i was like damn i kind of need those so when these came in in my size definitely had to grab them out of all the blues out there sky blue or unc blue is definitely one of my favorite blues this is another if you know you know type shoe i think i wore these at sneaker con boston and no one really had them on so the second to last shoe we have here is the off-white five in the black noir colorway i did pop the holes out and low-key regretted it later on but as of recently i actually covered the holes with like leftover material i had when I was creating clothing as you guys can see here some fabric and placement of that hole and then this one too if you guys can see right there if you ask me out of the two that came out i think this is my favorite one at one point i did own both of them the white ones just get dirty a lot more easily grab these before you know the whole hype went crazy now brand new pairs are like reaching eight to a thousand now the last year to end the video off 
are these green metallic fours. Had to grab these when AG sniped these at the sneaker show. The original green and white pair of fours that came out years ago, if I were to buy them now, they'd probably crumble and crack on me. So you don't want to take that risk. This is like the next best thing. The quality and the build on this is just insane. This is a shoe that if you see it for a really good price, you, you got to act on it. The netting is already like somewhat yellowing. If you guys can see. I feel like this sneaker is another sneaker that'll age really nicely, especially like once like it's beaten up and once it's worn, like it's gonna look really sick. All right guys, so that about wraps it up for this sneaker collection slash vintage collection slash little bit of everything collection. I really enjoyed doing this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I can't wait to see whose collection video is next after mine. And if you guys like the video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and share, do all that good stuff. Comment down below what your favorite shoe or piece was. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the love and support. Can't wait to see you guys soon. Peace.